So just when I thought things are beginning to get better for immigrants and then boom, this happened. Hi everyone, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If today is your first time here, my name is Stella. On this channel, I talk about my life here in the UK, what is happening around me and I share information. So if today is your first time here and this content sounds like what you'll be interested in, please do not forget to like, subscribe and share my videos. Click on that notification bell to get notified whenever I post any new video. And for my returning subscribers, you guys are the real G. Thank you guys for always coming back to watch my video. So a few days back, or should I say two weeks back, I can't remember when exactly, I made a post where I was talking about Bridget Philipson, where she was addressing the issue of international students coming here. And so many rumors out there saying that there's chances that international students will start bringing dependent, which in that video, I read from the article what was happening. In that video, I shared a lot and I was like, oh, let's just wait and see what happened. Some of you will agree with me that sometimes where there is such a rumor, sometimes it comes out to be real. Just like when they said no more dependent for international students coming in here in the UK. When the rumor started before, you know, it was officially announced saying that you can no longer bring dependent if you're coming to the UK to study, except if you're coming on a two years course which is like if you're coming on a phd or a research course and also when there's another rumor that oh the uk government will ban dependent from coming in on health and care worker visa it did happen uk government officially announced that people coming here to work on a health and care worker visa will no longer bring dependent isn't it so when that rumor started saying that it's possible that the uk government will start allowing international students to bring independent because people are not finding the uk attractive anymore to come and study well before we go further today's video is being sponsored hi guys it's holiday i got this lovely product sent to me so this is dr kier Go baby audio monitor so dr kier specialized in creating innovative high quality baby monitor for children on the six so if you have got kids on the six you all need to check them out i'll do a quick unboxing with you guys now so this is what the audio baby monitor looks like the good thing about this is that it has an extended battery life you can see it has a manual for easy use and understanding it's a two-way communication and guess what it has built in night and eight lullabies trust me this is a must tap if you have got kids in the house it has built in belt and clip and hanging hole just in case well designed so guys what do you guys think about this product this is a must have this has been super helpful for me and my family i use this me whenever i'm doing house chores i walk around with the parents unit and the good thing is that it also has a vibrator alert this help a lot you can also use this at night when your children are sleeping as a parent this is a must have it's super affordable you can check them out on amazon i am going to leave a link on the description below if you have any question you can email them or send them a message on instagram they are also on tiktok on youtube i'm going to leave a link to this product like i say it's so affordable you can also check out their website for different products i am sure you will like it go check them out and thank me later so that is it for Dr. Kia. Like I said, I'm going to leave a link on the description below for easy access for those of you interested. So fast forward to what I was saying. So recently, a lot has been happening. With what is currently happening here in the UK, just know that immigration system here in the UK will be very, very tight. I don't know if to say what is currently happening here in the UK is politics or not. And there's this article I saw online. Some persons were saying Kistama has failed his first test. I don't know if they want to frustrate the man in order to make him to, you know, step down. Because, I mean, what happened to Boris Johnson? The reason why I'm making this video. So, I was thinking that things will go well, you know, because of the things I've been seeing, the articles I've been reading. Not until the South Port incident happened. For those of you that don't know, it was said that there's this teenager that unalive three people. So, I'm mindful of the words I'm using because of YouTube. Because, I mean, every little thing, YouTube will say this and that. So, after this teenager on a life these three people uk turned upside down so the sad part it says london witnessed hours of Don't. attack in northwest england that killed three young girls and wounded several more children a false name of a supposed suspect was circulating on social media hours after that violent protesters were clashing with the police outside a near mocks a police says the name was fake as we are rumor that the 17 years old suspect was an asylum seeker 
who has recently arrived in Britain. Detectives say the suspect charged Thursday with oh. an attempted murder was born in the UK. And British media, include the BBC, have reported that his parents are from Rwanda. The information did little to slow the lightning spray of, of the false name or stop right wing influencer pinning the blame on immigrant and Muslim. So this is what is happening now. So what happened in London? They are pinning it on immigrant and the Muslim. So from this article, you could tell that they are pinning all of that happened on immigrants and the Muslim. So now let's take a throwback video that I posted. If you guys can remember this video about the same attack that happened in London, about a child that was going to school and was attacked. The person on a life that child made his soul rest in peace. Nothing happened here in England. They were just shouting. The person was mentally ill. He was having mental breakdown. Mental, mental, mental. Why? So now there was nothing like riots. All I've seen on social media is that the person was mentally challenged or the person was having mental... I don't know anything that has to do with mental anyway. But you want to love a child. Now it has happened again. Listen, I do not support what this teenage boy did. I don't. But what I don't understand is that why the riot all over the UK? And what is happening is that now they are burning so many asylum homes. Now the protest is beginning to happen from one town to city to town to city. You know, it's just happening up and down and i'm like what does this have to do with immigrants so there's so many videos i've been seeing on what's it called on tiktok you know people sharing their own opinion and there's this particular one that i watch and after watching that and i'm like ah god please no way is safe both home and abroad for those of you that don't know i'm a nigerian living here in the uk nigerians are also protesting back home for bad road bad governance no food hunger all of that and here uk are fighting the immigrants anyways this particular TikToker caught my attention after watching her video. Listen to what she has to say. Just listen to this. Listen to it. Let me tell you dirty, dingy, dusty, racist prick Sutton, yeah? You want to start racist riots around the UK, but you don't know your fucking history. Well, I'm here to give you a history lesson. The reason why immigrants came to this dusty, dingy fucking country is because half of your men were wiped out by World War fucking two. They didn't do it because they wanted equality. They didn't do it because they wanted diversity. They wanted black people to come over to this country and rebuild it again. And you want to know the real reason why you won World War Two? It's because India, yeah? India sent around 1.2 million Indians to come and fight the fucking fight because they were part of the Commonwealth, you understand? So if you knew your fucking history, you wouldn't be going after immigrants so fucking hard. Save your ass, Clart. It was India, yeah? And you're talking about you want your jobs back. What fucking jobs are you talking about? Where are they? Are they on Indeed? Are they on Total Jobs? Where are they? Because there's 9 million jobs, yeah, that you can access, that you can fucking apply for. So where the fuck are these immigrants taking jobs? What, you want toilet cleaning? You want office cleaning jobs? You want carer jobs? You want car wash jobs? You want nail salon jobs? You want barbershop jobs. That's what you're angry about. The reason why you don't have those fucking jobs is because you don't have the skill set. You don't add to anything. You are labourers. That is what your history is known for. You are factory workers. You are miners. Most of you work in fucking construction because you can't string a sentence together. But you want to target fucking immigrants. How dare you? Jobs. Is because the UK don't export anything. They don't build fuck all. They don't do fuck all. And they don't invent fuck all. And you people ain't going to work for £5 an hour in a factory. You're best staying on fucking benefits. So instead of being angry at the immigrants trying to make an honest fucking living, I suggest you look towards the houses of parliament because those are the people who put you in poverty. And you can throw all the racist parties you want. We ain't fucking going anywhere. So get fucking used to it. And if it weren't 
for the immigrants that came over here and made your country great again. You be living with animals, piss and shit. Do you understand? Oh. And the homeless and the toothless can't tell me shit about this country. This is my country now. Do something. And I'm not talking about all white people. I'm if you watch that particular clip, you realize that all of this riot, all of this fight is not just because of what that boy did. But I know it's one of the things that trigger everything. A few weeks back, there was a riot going on in London saying immigrants are taking our job. And what I don't understand is that what job? If you're looking for a very good job, like a very good job in the UK, they will always consider the British people before they consider you. And the jobs that immigrants are doing, for example, let's say the care job. The reason why they are recruiting people from overseas is because the people, the British people, don't want to do this job. They recruit people outside the UK. And, and mind you, these jobs we are all doing, we are paying tax. And who are they giving this tax money? They are paying to the British people that are not working. They are using it to take care of the disabled people. They are using it to do... Like, I don't understand. So you could tell that this riot is not just about that child. Now, fast forward to what is happening on Twitter. So there's this post I saw online, and this lady was complaining. She was in a bus. Some set of British people were insulting her, saying, go back to your home country, you illegal immigrant. Now, they cannot even differentiate. Some persons are here on tier two. Some persons are here to study. Some persons are here on a visit visa. But they've classified everybody as illegal immigrants. They've classified everybody as illegal immigrants. Not everybody came here illegally. And not everybody is seeking for asylum. But no, these people are tagging every single thing on immigrants. Please and um, please, if you're watching this video, you need to be very, very careful out there. These people are not joking. They are not here to joke. Like, the bad energy. When I mean the bad energy is real. It's real. I am telling you guys the truth. So if you know anybody, if you're going if you're going shopping, you have to be very, very careful. To be honest, this past few days, like it has been hot. I am telling you, and that is why I'm very sure this will affect immigration system. And do not forget that Kistama, his party people were saying that oh, it's because the immigrant voted for him. That was the reason why he won the election. And, and honestly, I saw online that so many immigrants voted for him that was one of the reasons why he was pushed and, and i'm sure why people voted for him is because they felt like he's immigration friendly and this particular fight i'm sure is definitely going to affect immigration system here in the uk and the other time kisama stopped the rwanda deportation you could remember when rushi snack was here he was saying that oh he's going to send uh asylum cigars to rwanda when kisama came in he said no no more deportation. So many British people were not happy about this. We're saying that this asylum cigars should go to Rwanda. And if you check this riot, they are burning so many asylum homes. That is what they are doing. And that is their mission to keep burning from one town to one city to another. That is what they are doing. So that is why you have to be very, very careful out there. Do your job and go home. Do not have issues. Honestly speaking, at this point, I try my best not to have any form of argument with anybody i just do my job and go home i don't even want to have this conversation with anybody to be honest you know what i mean by anybody i go to my house I lock my door and stay in my house with my children so if you're watching this video what do you guys think about all of this that is happening please leave me your honest opinion on this i just feel the need to talk about this because i mean like i said on this channel i talk about everything that is happening here in the uk leave me your opinion on this i'll see you guys in my next post bye guys